what's going on guys today we're gonna do some RSA decryption the challenge that we will take on today is part of the beginner track in hack the box challenge name is weak RSA and it's pretty much very familiar challenge if you are used to do CTF challenges can you decrypt the message and get the flag so the message or the encrypted message is given in the form of file so if we download the files here go to the virtual machine and from here as you can see I extracted the zipped file into flag and key so if you take a look at the key so cat key as you can see it's a public key right and judging by the name of the challenge this is an RSA public key you can just type file key uh, it's ASCII text all right but the file is a public key and here we're given the private key but it is encrypted if we cat flag you can see it is encrypted so here we're dealing with a public key file okay and the corresponding private key is encrypted we have to decrypt the private key now it is uh, uncommon to feel the need to decrypt a private key right since in all RSA communications we have a public key every entity has a public and a private key now once the person sends you a message you're going to decrypt the message with your own private key given their given the sender public key is available here we have the public key available but we need to decrypt the private key sometimes the message is given as a ciphertext and we're given a public key right so it's up to the situation or according to the situation you have to craft your own methods so here the ciphertext is given in the form of an encrypted file not a ciphertext which makes the issue a bit more complex okay so there are two ways to solve the challenge an automated method using a tool called the RSA CTF tool and I think if you have done the challenge before you have used this tool to solve the issue so the tool name is RSA CTF tool and can be downloaded from github the command is python RSA CTF tool dash dash public key we provide the public key and then we use dash dash unciphered file to indicate that we are uh, trying to decrypt a file right so the cipher text is in the form of file that's why we use the option dash dash unciphered file and we give the path to the file we wait for the tool do its magic scroll all the way down as you can see the file has been decrypted and along the lines scroll the last line we see the flag this is the decrypted form of the um, you know file so there is another way to do that if you want to use the tool we can just use dash dash private okay and we send the output to a private key so say key p dot text what's gonna happen here guys instead of decrypting or sending the output in an encrypt a decrypted form as we saw here it's gonna decrypt the public private key and send it to a text file in the text file you will see a private key from the private key you will be able to use cyberchef to um, find the password of the private key so what we're doing here we're trying to find out the private key right extracting the private key and the password that's tied to it okay now the alternative method which the one i prefer because it's not all the time we can use the tools right so it's best to understand how this works i explained how this works in my notes so i'm gonna go over them quickly so in rsa guys we have the public key has two numbers we have the n and the e and the private key we have n and d okay so in order to calculate the private key and the password or to perform the decryption we need to find out both n and e as well as d okay now d can be found using the following equation we can perform that using python so the first thing we need to do guys is to understand or to find out the value of n and the value of e okay let's do that using python 
so open new, new tab go to python okay first we're going to import the required libraries the crypto libraries okay the next thing now is we will open the public key file so we're going to use python okay and then inside the python loop we're going to use this to read the contents of the public key okay and lastly we will calculate or extract n and e from the public key after we have loaded the public key using python now as you can see we extracted n next we will extract e okay and now we will use this site to calculate the factorized form of um, n so by factorizing n we'll be able to find out the value of p and q so let's take the value of n copy that okay so what do we do from here we're gonna click on as you can see this is the number and it's the n this is n and it's the product of p and q we click on p click on show and now we have p okay let's make sure that we got this correctly yes so this is p now take the value of p go back to python p equal uh not exactly the thing i wanted let's copy that like this and then we go back p equal okay now we calculate q so this is p times q show and this is q we're doing this just to remove the new line so q equal now after we have calculated p a p q e and n now it's time to calculate the bits of the private key which is d d can be calculated using the following equation so we calculate d using python and then we say print d and this is the value of d so what to do the last thing is to use the below formula to calculate the uh, password of the private key the first thing as you can see we need to open the encrypted key or the private key file so we just change the names flag we open it and then we read the contents of the encrypted key file and store it in a variable called key p key p is the short form of key private that's my uh, naming so i'm gonna just enter and then you introduce the byte order so the byte order can be little or big for rsa we choose big okay now the next thing we use the following formula to take into consideration the value of t that we have calculated earlier from here and n so in here not will not be n it will be key dot n uh, this is how we calculated n if you remember from here so this will take into consideration the value of n and d and then we're going to go back and calculate the number bytes and convert them to calculate the length and convert them into hex lastly copy this formula okay so what we're doing here guys make sure to use big as the byte order if you use little it's not gonna work and we insert the value of num bytes okay ignore all the errors and decode it as utf to be able to extract the text form and then we type print um, my mic okay key p as you can see we got the utf 8 
form of the encrypted file and this is the flag so i hope you guys like that and these are two methods to solve this challenge let's see what happened with this one the rsstf tool i'm sending here the output to a text file called key p file so ls cat key as you can see this is the private key now we're going to take this and decode it right we need to decode this we're going to use cyber chef hopefully it will give me the answer i didn't try it cyber chef rsa okay wait encrypted message length is invalid do we need to remove these key pass how about this one nope key password the key password is supposed to be this one invalid PEM formatted message okay so we need to put the uh, begin and end of this Encrypted message length is invalid. Let's see here. Private key. Anyway, guys, you figured it out. Uh, if you find out what is wrong with this, I will be very grateful. So here you go, guys. Two methods to solve the challenge. I hope you like that. And I will see you in the next video.